to support. And, you know, I feel like the most unfortunate thing for me is that this situation was created. I escalated it. And that wasn't the proper response. However, when I look at my daughter and I have to explain things to her, and I don't want anything to get convoluted with my legacy, with, you know, what mommy's purpose is in life. And I don't want her to ever be confused about what my heart is and what my intentions are because they're always to protect her. I was never protected as a child, and you know that. I never had a mother to protect me. I never had that relationship. And I have an opportunity to do that with Brooklyn. And no matter what happens to me in my life, I'm going to always protect my child. And maybe it was the right response, but it was in from a heart that is pure. Child, that was Miss Kenya Moore on the Tamron Hall show. Shout out to Tamron Hall. Um, a mess. Why does everything lead back lead back to Brooklyn? Like I saw that and Tamron was looking at her like, girl, you didn't lost your mind. Okay. But what is up, y'all? It's your girl brand new. And honey, I'm back in a billion. <laughs> billion. <laughs> Hopefully, look, I end up making a billion one day, honey. Listen, okay, I'm trying to speak that into the environment, honey, into the atmosphere. But I'm back in the building. Um, let's discuss Miss Kenya Moore and her uh fake ass apology child, just so she could keep uh that check. That's a good check, too, okay? Just so she can uh, keep that check coming in. And Candy ain't got nobody full. Candy go have her ass back on Housewives of Atlanta, okay? She go get over that chiggity with Phaedra. And she go give the people what they want, what they need. Because we need Phaedra and Candy in the same vicinity. And y'all can get rid of Portia, keep her, I don't know, ship her to another man in Africa somewhere. But I need to see Candy and Phaedra sit down, okay? But let's... Let's get back to Kenya Moore. So let's see what the people think. So one person says the way that Tamron is side eyeing Kenya says it all. Showing explicit photos of someone who you are not getting along with is called revenge. Um, as someone in the public eye, the fact she has no limits to what she is prepared to do for TV is crazy. Keep the crocodile tears. Yeah, they're not buying it. And even when she was on Housewives, she kept trying to bring Brooklyn on the girls trips. It's like, girl, now you would have thought Kenya was strung out on food stamps on the wick, honey, <laughs> like, you would have thought that she was on public assistance, you just would have thought that life would have been so hard for Kenya, and I don't have a babysitter, and I don't, like, she's a regular woman, girl, you're rich, you got access to nannies, have somebody watch Brooklyn, Brooklyn did not need to come on all those girls, girls trips, nobody else that had kids on that show, because several of them had kids way before Kenya had her kid. They didn't bring their children on the show. Everybody else, you know, showed up for work. So it's like, who the hell are you where you think you're special? So another person says, how is she not responsible for revenge pee when she put up the pictures of the lady? I'm confused. Sounds like to me, she's always playing the victim. Yes, she did that on Housewives, even with the door and Marlo. I know y'all disdain and dislike for Marlo, but child, well, Brooklyn is in here. <laughs> You're beating all on the door, and my daughter, and then she goes into this diatribe. Oh, my mother was never there. Girl, you are you are using that shit as an excuse. And these Kenya Moore lovers, honey, they just eating it up. Kenya, Kenya is sorry. Girl, Girl, I saw the whole clip of Kenya. I'm sorry, not the whole clip. The whole interview of, of Kenya on Tamron Hall. And child, she was... Tamron had to jump in there like, uh, you did what you did. So do you, do you feel bad? She had to ask Kenya. Because Kenya was had all these excuses. And I feel like Kenya only feels bad because she almost lost her job. That's and she's embarrassed, but I think she would do that to that lady again. Okay, another person says Kenya is an example of you reap what you sow. She had been mistreating new cast members for years, she's so mean to uh Kim Fields. 
she was so mean, you you mean to say, when she was on the show. Now she's crying crocodile tears. She just needs to go and twirl somewhere else with her lies. Yeah, they wasn't buying um, her apology. Kenya is the reason. Kenya is off the show. She's not a victim and her actions were not justified. She needs to grow up. Oh, I, I saw how she conveniently put Andy's name out there. Oh, we're still talking. He checks in on me. and Yeah. So somebody says, LOL, she threw out Andy's name out there to give herself some clout. Yeah, to show that she's still in business with Bravo Child. Now the person says, sorry, Ken, as a mom, you have to know that every decision you make that compromises you can jeopardize your daughter's well-being no excuses another person says you reap what you sow kenya has been a mean girl for years and she's only sorry because she's at risk for losing everything hurt people hurt people stand on business take accountability and life will get better for you another person says i absolutely love kenya but she is not a victim here Another person says she is literally almost always the instigator in any conflict that she's in. She's a vile person and not at all a victim. She victimizes others. Another person says she weaponizes her child to evade responsibility. She always regurgitates her maternal abandonment issues to draw sympathy and deflect attention from her intentional and hurtful flaws. Another person says she is so full of it. You don't expose photos of someone you fear and call yourself the victim. Secondly, she said no one would be there to raise her daughter. Really? How about the father? Yeah, and then you've been getting along with Mark. Okay, Mark said he'd been um, supporting uh Kenya in Brooklyn. Look, I don't look, I don't know how true that is, but that was kind of shady, you know. If it's true, it wasn't shady on Kenya's part, but she was just like, Yeah, my daughter would have nobody. And it's like, um, she got Mark, but Mark ain't, you know, maybe Mark ain't as involved as as he want us to believe, honey. Okay, because that's what she was saying on the show. She a single mom. And I get it, you know, but you a single mom, can you whip my tea? Money, 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 money. Kenya is full of it and too old to be pulling these antics. She could cry all she wants, but she went too far. There were other ways to handle things. Did she really think everything would turn out great? Posting someone else's nudes at her private event for her business, she got what she deserved. Okay, a mess. Kenya embellishes the truth a little bit sometimes. Girl, you are not the longest running housewife. That was your friend, Candy. Yeah, you came in season five. You didn't even get the girl. If this was a barbecue, you didn't even get the fire started. We all know that was my girl, Miss Nene Lanithia Monique Leakes. Okay? A mess. She went from being the moment to this is a very humbling moment. <laughs> I know that's right. Oh, child, a mess. Another person says, I don't think that Kenya is a bad person. I actually love Kenya. I think it just comes to a point where you have to be defensive if you feel somebody is trying to come for you or attack you. And that's a normal feeling. Yeah, I guess. But she didn't have to show that lady's nudes. Okay, she didn't. She, but it was already on the internet. I know, but you didn't. Kenya always takes it too far. She's crazy. Y'all remember the conversation Nene had with her the first season that she was on? Like, girl, you don't have to, like, treat people so badly. Okay, she was telling her, you never win when you play dirty. And don't just F people over just because you can. She also got on the Tamron Hall and got to saying she was embarrassed. She went from being Miss USA to being drugged all across that stage. But what about how you antagonized Portia into doing that? You know, you were calling her all kinds of dumb bees. You always, you know, 
reminded her that she was less than smart. Now, yes, Portia was saying little stuff, but Kenya was really nasty with Portia when Portia first got on. And I think it's because Portia had the life that Kenya wanted. And even though Cordell wasn't ball shiggity, Kenya wanted to be married and Kenya wanted to have children back then. That's why she, you know, got the flirting with Phaedra's husband and asking them for a threesome. Okay, we not go team twirl. We not go act like y'all girl didn't do all of that okay another person says i'm sorry but kenya sounds guilty af for showing those photos i think what happened is that she got way too comfortable on the show from being on it for so long that she made a terrible mistake and is now living to regret it we all make mistakes but we have to learn from them and move on i know that's right all right you guys that's all i have to say about all of this and i will check you guys out in the next video